Welcome back to All in Law. This is a medical video lecture OBGYN. And in this video, we're going to talk about prolonged second stage. In the previous two videos, we discussed about the prolonged latent phase and the prolonged active phase. So to understand prolonged second stage, we should know the stages of the labor. We have four stages, stage 1 to stage 4. The stage 1 is further divided into two phases, that is a latent and the active phase. The stage 2, it starts with the complete cervical dilation and ends with the delivery of the fetus. Complete cervical dilation till the fetus is delivered. Right? This is known as prolonged second stage. If there is any abnormality or a time period noted in this from cervical dilatation till the fetal delivery, then that's known as a prolonged second stage. By definition, remember, that if there is a failure of delivery of the baby in two hours in primipara and more than what you call one hour in multipara with epidural analgesia, if there is epidural analgesia, add one hour to each, okay? means 3 hours, 2 hours, right? So if there is any failure to deliver the baby in 2 hours without analgesia or 3 hours with analgesia in a primary para and 1 hour without analgesia in multi para or 2 hours with analgesia in multi para is known as prolonged second stage. So let's talk about the causes for this. As we know, we summarize the causes in the active phase. We have the causes divided into three types, three P's, remember. One is the passenger, pelvis, and the power. The passenger is like what you call the baby. Excessive fetal size or any abnormal fetal orientation in the uterus that can cause prolonged second stage. Okay, any abnormality in the pelvis, CPD, okay, or any bone tumors, okay, that can be what you call, um, can lead to prolonged second stage or any abnormalities in the power like inadequate uterine contraction, dysfunctional, right? So it can cause prolonged second stage. Let's talk about the management. How do you manage? Management. First, you have to you assess the uterine contractions, okay? And the maternal pushing efforts. You can use IV oxytocin. IV oxytocin to enhance the contraction. Okay, okay. And look for whether the fetal head is engaged or not. Right? And if the fetal head is not engaged, proceed with emergency cesarean section. Okay? And if the head is engaged, either try with the obstetric forceps, obstetric forceps or vacuum extractor delivery. Right? So for the management of the prolonged second stage, you have to give the oxytocin and the assess the uterine contraction and try and tell the mom to have maternal pushing efforts, okay? And look for the fetal engagement, fetal head engagement. If the fetal head is not engaged, then you can go ahead with the emergency cesarean section. And if it's engaged, try delivering with the obstetric forceps or vacuum extractor. And at last, if it's not possible with these two, then you can do emergency cesarean section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.